The M61 Vulcan is a hydraulically or pneumatically driven, six-barreled, air-cooled, electrically fired Gatling-style rotary cannon which fires 20 mm rounds at an extremely high rate. The M61 and its derivatives have been the principal cannon armament of United States military fixed-wing aircraft for 50 years. The M61 was originally produced by General Electric, and after several mergers and acquisitions is currently produced by General Dynamics. Development At the end of World War II, the United States Army began to consider new directions for future military aircraft guns. The higher speeds of jet-powered fighter aircraft meant that achieving an effective number of hits would be extremely difficult without a much higher volume of fire. While captured German designs showed the potential of the single-barrel revolver cannon, the practical rate of fire of such a design was still limited by ammunition feed and barrel wear concerns. The Army wanted something better, combining extremely high rate of fire with exceptional reliability. In response to this requirement, the armament division of General Electric resurrected an old idea, the multi-barrel Gatling gun. The original Gatling gun had fallen out of favor because of the need for an external power source to rotate the barrel assembly, but the new generation of turbojet-powered fighters offered sufficient electric power to operate the gun, and electric operation offered reliability superior to a gas-operated weapon. With multiple barrels, the rate of fire per barrel could be lower than a single-barrel revolver cannon while still giving a superior total rate of fire. The idea of powering a Gatling gun from an external electric power source was not a novel idea at the end of the World War II era, as Richard Jordan Gatling himself had done just that in 1893, with a patent he filed. The Army issued General Electric the contract in 1946 for Project Vulcan, a six-barrel weapon capable of firing 7,200 rounds per minute. Although European designers were moving towards heavier 30 mm weapons for better hitting power, the U.S. initially concentrated on a powerful 15 mm cartridge designed for a pre-war anti-tank rifle, expecting that the cartridge's high muzzle velocity would be beneficial for improving hit ratios on high-speed targets. The first GE prototypes of the 15 mm caliber T-45 were ground-fired in 1949. It achieved 2,500 RPMs, which was increased to 4,000 RPMs by 1950. By the early 1950s, the USAF decided that high velocity alone might not be sufficient to ensure target destruction and tested 20mm and 27mm alternatives based on the 15mm caliber cartridge. These variants of the T-45 were known as the T-171 and T-150 respectively, and were first tested in 1952. Eventually, the 20A, 102M cartridge was determined to have the desired balance of projectile and explosive weight and muzzle velocity. The development of the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter revealed that the T-171 Vulcan suffered problems with its linked ammunition, being prone to misfeed and presenting a foreign object damage hazard with discarded links. A linkless ammunition feed system was developed for the upgraded M61A1, which subsequently became the standard cannon armament of U.S. fighters. In 1993, General Electric sold its aerospace division, including GE armament systems along with the design and production tooling for the M61 and GE's other rotary cannon, to Martin Marietta. After Martin's merger with Lockheed, the rotary cannon became the responsibility of Lockheed Martin Armament Systems. Lockheed Martin Armament Systems was later acquired by General Dynamics, who currently produce the M61 and its various offspring. Description Each of the cannon's six barrels fires once in turn during each revolution of the barrel cluster. The multiple barrels provide both a very high rate of the rear euro around 100 rounds per second a euro and contribute to prolonged weapon life by minimizing barrel erosion and heat generation. Mean time between jams or failures is in excess of 10,000 rounds, making it an extremely reliable weapon. The success of the Vulcan project and its subsequent progeny, the very high-speed Gatling gun, has led to guns of the same configuration being referred to as Vulcan cannon, which can sometimes confuse nomenclature on the subject. Most aircraft versions of the M61 are hydraulically driven and electrically primed. The gun rotor, 
barrel assembly and ammunition feed system are rotated by a hydraulic drive motor through a system of flexible drive shafts. The round is fired by an electric priming system where an electrical current from a firing lead passes through the firing pin to the primer as each round is rotated into the firing position. The self-powered version, the GAU-4, is gas-operated, tapping gun gas from four of the six barrels to operate the gun gas-driven mechanism. The self-powered Vulcan weighs about 4.5 kilograms more than its electric counterpart, but requires no external power source to operate except for an electric, inertia starter to initiate gun rotation, allowing the first rounds to be chambered and fired. The initial M61 used linked, belted ammunition, but the ejection of spent links created considerable problems. The original weapon was soon replaced by the M61A1, with a linkless feed system. Depending on the application, the feed system can be either single-ended or double-ended. A disadvantage of the M61 is that the bulk of the weapon, its feed system, and ammunition drum makes it difficult to fit it into a densely packed airframe. The feed system must be custom designed for each application, adding 140 Euro 180 a kg to the complete weapon. Most aircraft installations are double-ended, because the ejection of empty cartridges can cause a foreign object damage hazard for jet engines and because the retention of spent cases assists in maintaining the center of gravity of the aircraft. The first aircraft to carry the M61A1 was the C model of the F-104, starting in 1959. A lighter version of the Vulcan developed for use on the F-22 Raptor, the M61A2, is mechanically the same as the M61A1 but with thinner barrels to reduce overall weight to 92 kilograms. The rotor and housing have also been modified to remove any piece of metal not absolutely needed for operation and replaces some metal components with lighter weight materials. The FF also uses this version. The Vulcan's rate of fire is typically 6,000 rounds per minute, although some versions are limited to a lower rate, and others have a selectable rate of fire of either 4,000 or 6,000 rounds per minute. The M61A2's lighter barrels allow a somewhat higher rate of fire up to 6,600 rounds per minute. Ammunition Practically no powered rotary cannon is supplied with enough ammunition for a full minute of firing, because of the weight of the ammunition. In order to avoid using the few hundred rounds carried in a matter of a single trigger pull, a burst controller is generally used to limit the number of rounds fired at each trigger pull. Bursts of from 2 or 3 up to 40 or 50 can be selected. Until the late 1980s the M61 primarily used the M50 series of ammunition in various types, typically firing a 99 grams projectile at a muzzle velocity of about 1,030 meters per second. A variety of armor-piercing incendiary, high-explosive incendiary, and training rounds are available. Around 1988 a new round was introduced the PGU-28 per byte, which is now standard for U.S. Navy and Air Force aircraft. The PGU-28 per byte is a low-drag round designed to reduce in-flight drag and deceleration, and is a slightly increased muzzle velocity of 1,050 meters per second. The PGU-28 per byte is a semi-armor-piercing high-explosive incendiary round, providing substantial improvements in range, accuracy and power over the preceding M56A3HEI round. The PGU-28 per byte has not been without problems, however. A 2000 USAF safety report noted 24 premature detonation mishaps in 12 years with the SAFU round, compared to only two such mishaps in the entire recorded history of the M56 round. The report estimated that the current PGU-28 per byte had a potential failure rate 80 times higher than USAF standards permit. The main types of combat rounds and their main characteristics are listed in the table below. Applications and first combat use The Vulcan first entered aerial combat on April 4, 1965 when four North Vietnamese Air Force MiGs-17s attacked a force of ten escorting North American F-100 Super Sabres and 48 Vulcan-armed, but bomb-laden F-105s, shooting down two Thunder Chiefs. The MiG leader, Captain Tran Han, and the only survivor from the four MiGs reported that U.S. jets had pursued them and that F-105s had shot down three of his aircraft 
killing Lieutenants Fumbye, Le Min Huon, and Tran Guyan Nam. Captain Donald Kilgus piloting an F-100 did receive an official probable kill with his four M39 20mm cannons during the engagement. However no other U.S. pilot reported destroying any MiGs during the battle, leaving open the plausibility that at least two of the MiGs-17s may have been downed by their own AA fire. The first confirmed Vulcan gun kill occurred on June 29, 1966 when Major Fred Tracy, flying his F-105 Thunderchief with the 421st EFS, fired 200 rounds of 20mm into a MiG-17 that had just fired a 23mm shell through one side of his cockpit and which exited out the other side. When the NVAF MiG flew in front of him after making his pass, Major Tracy opened fire on him. The gun was installed in the Air Force's A-7D version of the LTV A-7 Corsair II where it replaced the earlier United States Navy A-7's cold MK-12 cannon and was adopted by the Navy on the A-7C and A-7E. It was integrated into the newer F-4E Phantom II variants. The F-4 was originally designed without a cannon as it was believed that missiles had made guns obsolete. Combat experience in Vietnam showed that a gun could be more effective than guided missiles in many combat situations, and that an externally carried gun pod was less effective than an internal gun. The Vulcan was later fitted into the weapons bay of some Convair F-106 Delta Dart and General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark models. It was also adopted as standard in the Teen Series Air Superiority Fighters, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon and McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. Other aircraft include the Italian-Brazilian AMX International AMX, and the F-22 Raptor. It was fitted in a side-firing installation on the Fairchild AC-119, some marks of the Lockheed AC-130 gunships, and was used in the tail turrets of both the Convair B-58 Hustler and Boeing B-52H Stratofortress bombers. Japan's Mitsubishi F-1 carried one internally mounted JM-61A1 Vulcan with 750 rounds. Two gun pod versions, the Su-16 Para and improved Su-23 Para, were developed in the 1960s, often used on gunless versions of the F-4. The Su-16 Para uses the electric M-61A1 with a ram air turbine to power the motor. This proved to cause serious aerodynamic drag at higher speeds, while speeds under 640 km per hour did not provide enough airflow for maximum rate of fire. The subsequent Su-23 Para uses the GAU-4 Para self-powered Vulcan, with an electric inertia starter to bring it up to speed. Both pods ejected empty cases and unfired rounds rather than retaining them. Both pods contained 1,200 rounds of ammunition, with a loaded weight of 733 and 780 kg respectively. During service in the Vietnam War the pods proved to be relatively inaccurate, the pylon mounting was not rigid enough to prevent deflection when firing, and repeated use would misalign the pod on its pylon, making matters worse. A variant with much shorter barrels, designated the M195, was also developed for use on the M35 armament subsystem for use on the AH-1G Cobra helicopter. This variant fed from ammunition boxes fitted to the landing skid and was developed to provide the AH-1 helicopter with a longer-range suppressive fire system before the adoption of the M97 Universal turret mounting the M197 cannon. The M61 is also the basis of the U.S. Navy Mk-15 Phalanx Closing Weapon System system and the M163 VADS Vulcan Air Defense System. See also, M167 VADS. Air defense system using the M61 Vulcan, M197 Gatling gun, three-barrel development of M61 for light aircraft, XM301, cancelled lightweight 20 ohm cannon, M134 minigun, 7.62 ohm gun, GAU-8 Avenger a Euro General Electric, 30 ohm caliber, GAU-12 Equalizer a Euro General Electric, 25 ohm caliber, Soviet Union CIS. Gyatsev Shipping of GSH 6 23 23 um, Gyatsev Shipping of GSH 30 1, high rate. Single barrel 30 um caliber, Gyatsev Shipping of GSH 6 30, Gyatsev Shipping of GSH 30 2, 
Shippen or 2A42 30 mm caliber, references. Anderton, David A. North American F100 Super Sabre. Osprey Publishing Limited, 1987. ISBN 0-85045-622-2. Campbell, John M. and Hill, Michael. Roll Call, Thud. A Photographic Record of the F-105 Thunder Chief 1996, Schiffer Publishing Ltd. ISBN 0-7643-0062-8. Davis, Peter E. U.S. Air Force F-4 Phantom II Mig Killers 1965-68. Osprey Combat Aircraft No. 45, 2004, Osprey Publishing. UK ISBN 1-84176-656-9. Davis, Peter E. USAFF 4 Phantom II Mig Killers 1972-73. Osprey Combat Aircraft 55. ISBN 1-84176-657-7. Hobson, Chris. Vietnam Air Losses, United States Air Force. Navy and Marine Corps fixed-wing aircraft losses in Southeast Asia 1961-1973. Midland Publishing. ISBN 1-85780-115-6. McCarthy J.R., Donald J. Mig Killers, A Chronology of U.S. Air Victories in the Vietnam War 1965-1973. Speciality Press. 2009 ISBN 978-1-58007-136-9. Michelle III, Marshall L. Clashes, Air Combat Over North Vietnam 1965-1972. Naval Institute Press. 1997. ISBN 978-1-59114-519-6. Topacha, Istvan. MiG-17 and MiG-19 units of the Vietnam War. Osprey Combat Aircraft No. 25, 2008 Second Edition. ISBN 978-1-84176-162-6. External links, Evolution of the M61 Vulcan Gatling Gun on Army.mil. General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems M61A1 per meter 61A2 page, M61A1 Vulcan, 20 on Gatling Gun System on F-16.net, M61 Database Item on FAS.org.